Hello friends. Today I will going to explain how to make a regeneration for the de-annihilation plant. For the regeneration, we need two chemicals. One is hydrochloric acid, and another one is sodium hydroxide. This hydrochloric acid we using for remove the all the saturated parts of cadmium resin, and the sodium hydroxide we using for remove the all the saturated part of cadmium resin. Friends, the last video I explained all the positive ions absorbed by the cadmium resin, and all the negative ions absorbed by the cadmium resin. So finally, we get the pure water. So after long days, your product water PDS going to increase. because the saturated resins so we need to remove the saturated part of parts from the resins so we need to make regeneration friends in this video i will explain the regeneration process by the chart and i will going to show you how i making regeneration for my dehydration plant come on let's see friends this chart i already explained my last video You see, we found here extracted resins. Okay, means all the cations absorbed by the resins. So this is we are calling extracted resin. This extracted resin, by use the acid, we make it regeneration and make it like a pure pure resin. Okay. So now I will explain you the regeneration chart. Hello friends. Now you can see here this chart. The cation resin absorbs all the positive ions, so the resin is going to be excised. Okay, it's saturated. This all saturated resins we need to be clean and make it again pure. Okay, so we are making regeneration by use the hydrochloric acid or H2SO4. So, if example. hydrochloric acid we are using what is the reaction happening this calcium and uh, calcium uh, calcium magnesium sodium everything present in the resin so all we remove so react with the hydrochloric acid this cl and calcium and chloride going to separate and magnesium chloride going to separate sodium chloride going to be separate finally we form the pure resin make it again okay this is the regeneration Uh, same same if you use H2SO4, the same happening. Okay, calcium sulfate coming going to be separate, magnesium sulfate going to be separate, sodium sulfate it is going to be separate. Finally, we get the pure resin. So this process we finally we did after we use the filtration process continuously doing long times. It's not last. Okay, okay brother. Next video I will show you how to make regeneration. for anion friends last video we watched the anion exchanger how to remove the anions and everything so again one time i show the chart the uh, fi fi cation final product presents many types many kind of ion anions all anions we remove by the anion resin okay so this resin absorb all anions final product coming to your water I told you already. So they absorbed this excasted resin. Today we are going to regenerate it by the uh, sodium hydroxide. Means base chemical we used for the regeneration. I will explain you the chart. If example, chloride coming, sulfate coming, everything coming, so that's it. Right? So resins presents chloride. It's okay. If example, we using sodium hydroxide means caustic soda we using for regeneration so what is the reaction happening this this oh going to be resin means ro oh this is the pure resin and sodium chloride going to be drain drain okay means for waste okay finally we uh, we get the pure resin so this kind this type of method we using regeneration and we continue this process the long days okay now i will going to make the operate regeneration for my deionization plant i will show this video
friends this is my deannexation plant now i will going to show you how i make regeneration for my deannexation plant this plant capacity 2.5 cubic meter per hour friends now you can see here the electronics control valve here we can make the regeneration by manual now i already started the uh, regeneration uh, you can see here now remain 4 minutes remain this are totally 5 minutes for backwash okay when the 5 minutes finish after we start the chemical injection for uh, 15 minutes then fast rinse the fast rinse take 40 minutes and uh, Uh, 10 minutes for slow rinse. Totally four steps for cation and four steps for anion. Now first step almost finish. Now one minute is remain. <coughs> Now friends almost finish the timing. When it is finished, then start the chemical injection for 15 minutes. 15 minutes take 60 liter of chemical from the chemical dosing tank now second step is started totally 15 minutes 15 minutes almost 60 liter take it inside the cation vessel friends now started the uh, started from uh, 15 then 15 14 13 like is coming now almost finish Okay friends for uh, for long time i cannot show you the video so i cut and put it here uh, now second step finish and third step started third step 40 minutes fast rinse this 40 minutes finish after start the slow rinse now you can see here third step almost to finish one minute is remain friends now that step almost finished zero zero coming now going to start the fourth step now you can see here the fourth step is started for 10 minutes now you can see here now 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 zero like a 10 minutes it's working this is the slow rinse after cation process uh, cation process all the steps are finished now going to start the anion resin backwash the same same cation it's also taking 5 uh, minutes backwash and 15 minutes chemical injection and 40 minutes fast rinse and 10 minutes slow rinse the same steps happening here also this is the control valve mm -hmm. i'm showing here this electronics control valve already they programmed all the steps of timing means back was we need how many minutes 5 uh, minutes so they are programmed by this uh, electronics control valve now fifth step, fifth step almost going to finish the panel board you can see here the regeneration flashing now almost to fifth step is finished now sixth step is started for 15 minutes chemical injection now sodium hydroxide is going to the anion for cation we use hydrochloric acid for anion we using sodium hydroxide the chemical dosing 15 minutes going inside total 60 liter diluted solutions only means not a raw chemical we are using 30 percentage of concentration sodium hydroxide we using 50 percentage of chemical and 50 percentage of water we make it dilute and give the regeneration dosing now six step mode is now started 7c means seventh step so this is 40 minutes fast rinse for anion after the 40 minutes now you can see here the almost finished the uh, so for that steps now going to start the fourth step only 10 minutes slow rinse 
after our plant going to be normal again we can make the regeneration continuously by use this plant and i will going to show you the final tds how much and free tds how much hc 10 minutes now start at the hc hc means slow rinse okay friends i think in this video you can understand the many things of small denitration plant system the same same our big uh, manual regeneration also we can make the same same backwash we give the chemical injection after we make it rinse and we start at the service so same same here also but here this is the electronic control valve by manual we using by our hand now going to now the regeneration flashlight flashlight going to off and service flashlight going to on now you can see here now plant is normal now i will going to show you the feed tds and product tds the feed tds i check now you will see how much 11.84 this is the tds and i will going to show you what is the tds of our product water this is the sample point of product water now we test here now almost iron cation and anion we remove by the deionization plant now little flushing after we can see uh, 0.23 tds coming means 0.23 almost ions are removed by the deionization plant 